got a question that was asked to me. You know, when did the Illuminati start wearing masks, right? Um, I guess my response would be, when did they not? Um, the Illuminati has been in hiding forever. You know, they, they're not at all what y'all think they are. Y'all think that they're the Bilderberg. You think the Bilderberg's Illuminati. You take and say that everything the Bilderberg is doing is Illuminati, which is stupid. I mean, it is. It's ignorant. I mean, think about it. Anons, for a second, okay? Now, aren't y'all called terrorists? Right? Terrorists? And yet, you still do what you do, right? Same same situation, you know? Illuminati is blamed for everything. <clears throat> They're not the reason for it. The truth is, it's us. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Everybody is the reason that the Illuminati is blamed for it because everybody decides that they're going to believe what they hear just because they can't, you know, prove otherwise. It's crap. Uh, Illuminati illuminated, enlightened, the ones with the knowledge, the knowledge of the history and the past, okay? If you understand your history, then you can understand your future. It's more like a spiritualness. Um, I, I compare, I guess I can compare it to all religions. You know, all religions. It's not really religion. You know, it, it, they don't say, you know, God's going to strike hell fire down on you or that God killed his son or that God raped a woman and, you know, I mean, this, this isn't what the Illuminati says, you know. They don't say that Moses was, you know, without sin. I mean, he was a liar, a murderer, a rapist, and a thief. You know, I mean, these are facts, okay, and that they're in y'all's book, your Bible. Um, I've stayed away from religion for the most part. Just because of my views, because of my enlightenment. And how I see things. So, I guess, uh, since I'm about to pick everybody's brain anyway and get a lot of haters again, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and do it right, okay? Um, you can quote me on this. Jesus was the first vampire. Yeah, I did it. I went there. I mean, think about it, y'all, for a second, okay? <laughs> you know? Look, y'all believe every damn thing that y'all fucking want to believe in, whether you believe it to be true or not you just like, hey that's a great idea. I'm gonna believe in that and you don't do your research you don't read okay I read the Bible okay I read the Bible multiple times and uh, time and time again I found flaws you know um, it's basic instructions before leaving earth your know, basic instructions not your advanced set you know the Illuminati holds your advanced set of instructions before leaving earth um, Back to Jesus and the vampire, right? One, immaculate conception, right? So there you go. Uh, he says, drink of my blood and eat of my flesh and ye will live forever. Okay? And he goes on to say, right after that, the Jews remarked, how can this man offer us his blood and his flesh? You know, they were saying, that's insane. And, uh, Jesus then come up and says, no. I mean, my blood is as drink, so drink it. My meat is as, my flesh is as meat, so eat it, and you'll be nourished, and you will live forever. Now, then they had the Last Supper, okay? The Last Supper, the last time they had to eat. Okay, you look at all the vampire stuff, you know, it's, the Vatican's always involved in it. I can't believe that. You know, I can't follow that type of a situation. Um, you know, some religions say, you know, Jesus was married, and some say he wasn't. You know, in the Bible, what I read was Mary dipped her hair in oil and anointed Jesus' feet, and that was a wedding. Okay, it was a wedding. They got married. Okay, he was married to Mary Magdalene. Uh, that's not in the Bible either. Okay. Um... 
that they were married, but it was in there, the ceremony. Uh, <laughs> my favorite part, uh, John the Evangelist wrote, As I stared at the face upon the cross, Jesus appeared next to me, and he was laughing at the Romans' lack of observation. Okay? Now, let's put yourself in his shoes for a second, okay? Let's be the person standing here laughing during a crucifixion. Okay, you got a crucifixion going on. You got this mug that's supposed to be up there, and he's laughing. Why? Because he's supposed to be up there, and he's laughing at what? The Romans' lack of observation. Because they're not observing that that's not him up there. See, who is up there, y'all? Check out your Bible. Who's up there? Simon. Simon died on the cross, y'all. Okay? It's in your Bible, okay? Jesus is carrying the cross. Here comes Simon. Relieves him of the cross. And walks. Never says when he gives it back. Because he doesn't give it back. Okay? He did not give the cross back. Simon took the cross from Jesus and got crucified instead of him. It's, it's in the Bible. You know? And now... You got to look at this too, okay? Now, this book made, you know, 1300s, whenever the hell it was made. Now, I know some of y'all say it was built by God. And uh, God's Bible is in your brain. You know, it's called natural instinct, okay? And that's what y'all are totally misunderstanding. The Illuminati, they believe in it, okay? They believe in your first reaction, your first instinct, your insight, Okay, you open your third eye. Okay, use your brain, your knowledge, in order to understand what you're around. Believe half of what you see and none of what you've heard. And they teach that. And you look around the planet, and the name Jesus has been behind more death than anything. I mean, yeah, now, now the name America is moving up there, you know, saying, don't get me wrong, you know, saying, America is really trying for that number one spot. You know, we're building all the bombs. Now, I'm, I'm living in Huntsville, Alabama, you know. Do some research on Huntsville, Alabama, everybody, okay? Um, you look at all the Anon videos and stuff, all the protests and whatever. Try to find Huntsville. I've been out here. I've, I've put on the mask. I've held up signs. I've been out and about. I'm one of the only ones that are willing to do that. Um, this is the warmongering capital of America, okay? We got billboards for missiles, we got billboards for drones, we got billboards for bombs, we got billboards for fighter jets. I mean, billboards, okay? So whenever y'all want to say that, you know, I'm insane for wanting to put up an Anon billboard, <laughs> y'all y'all hadn't seen insane until y'all take a trip down here to Huntsville. And all y'all in Huntsville know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? You're sitting here sleeping. It's like... Do, 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 and it sounds like a war zone. You know what I'm saying? Get, you know, give me a little smiley face if you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about if you live here. You know, it's a warmongering capital. And it's all about direction and misdirection. You know, they say, hey, look at this, look at this, look at this. And not this, not this, not this. Okay, they're here for this reason, this reason, this reason. Now, why is it that the people in Huntsville won't go out and protest with Anonymous? And that's because of where we're at, the surroundings, okay? We're surrounded by warmongers, okay? We're surrounded by the people that build the bombs and the drones. We're surrounded by the people that run the drones. We're surrounded by Space Command and Missile Defense Command and NASA you know, we're in the heart of it. Now, everybody else being in the heart of Christianity and religions, all different religions, y'all surround yourselves with people that are like-minded. And once you have a different thought than that like-minded group around you and you speak about it, now all of a sudden they don't agree with you, so they move away from you. And then now you, your circle... And your support is getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. And that's why people will turn around and just go with the flow and be sheep. It's because they're scared of the reaction of those around them. That same here in Huntsville with the protests, or lack thereof. It's the same with uh, Illuminati. 
You know what I'm saying? Because the Illuminati, they're surrounded by people that hate them because they're misinformed because they don't have the knowledge. And it's gotten to the stage where you have to be in that certain lineage in order to be able to be talked to about it because the dangers that are involved. Now, people are wondering, you know, why? Why, why, why come out here and say you're Illuminati? Why tell the Anons? You know, why, why, why say you're an on, Anon and then support Illuminati? And that's not the case at all. You know, everybody just... You're looking at it from your perspective, from your angle. You know, you don't see it from my angle. Okay, I guess my angle would be that of a magician. Is all I can compare it to. Because I know these things. And I know that when they're put together, the outcome's going to be great. Uh, damn, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. Here I go with brain farting again. My brain's skipping. Yeah, I'm thinking back at the same time that I'm making this about some issues that have come up in the past about me being an Anon, me being Illuminati, me being a Freemason. Um, as my Freemason, my Illuminati friends know, um, I don't plug them. Um, the Anons, you know, so I plug y'all because it seems that everybody wants the recognition. And that's the difference, I think in the whole scheme of things is whether or not you want to be recognized or not recognized. Now, me personally, I just don't care. You know what I'm saying? You can recognize me or not recognize me. You know what I'm saying? You believe what I say or don't believe what I say. You have that option in life, okay? I'm not saying believe what I say. In fact, I'm saying do all your research on yourself, you know? And I'm not saying go to Prison Planet and Info Wars, okay? Because, oh, okay, okay. Why is it that motherfuckers in the entertainment center throw up the Bothman, okay? Why is it that everywhere you go, they're, they're throwing up the signs, okay? Why? Well, that's because they're wanting to give the illusion of power, okay? You get the entertainment people, just Beyonce, right? She got her little pyramid she's throwing up just because she's with Jay-Z. And uh, they show that. To make those that aren't feel that they are. If that makes any sense, okay? It's a misdirection and a manipulation. They want you to look at this. Say, hey, these are the people that are creating the problems. These are the people that are making the world hell. And they're not. You know, they're not. You blame this group while this group is flourishing. You know, they're just running amok. It's called Bilderberg. I don't understand why people can't get that through, through their fucking head, okay? If you can look at all the facts about Bilderberg and you can see that they actually do control everything, how in the fuck can you say that the Illuminati controls it? I mean, it just doesn't make any sense, okay? Illuminati is enlightened. They're, they're more about history and knowledge, okay? Wisdom. Enlightenment. Not power, not greed, not corruption. You know, they don't want people that they have to take care of underneath them. They don't want to have to worry about everybody else's little problems. They stay away from everybody else's little problems. They let everybody else blame them for whatever they want to blame them for. Y'all are all misdirected on what the Illuminati is. And that's why I come out to tell y'all. Because nobody else is willing to. And it's fucking sick. It's sad. Um, a couple of them hit me up. And uh, one of them is uh, making a little song. And hopefully that will help change at least the future of the perspective on the Illuminati. Uh, people say that uh, Anonymous is run by Illuminati. That's uh, another message I've gotten in my other accounts. Um... Like, oh, well, we know that Anonymous has always been run by Illuminati. And that just doesn't make any sense to me. Okay? Because I know what Anonymous is. Anonymous is anybody that wants to hop on and do their part to make a better world. That doesn't... That's not Illuminati. Okay? Because they're not... The Anons aren't taught the history 
They're not enlightened. Well, this thing hit 15 minutes. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all go.